everyone, it's 604 Comics here once again with another unboxing. This time I've got the Dean Eagles Mandy statue, sculpted by Claiborne Moore. This is from the C.S. Moore Studio Limited, and this came out for pre-order back in August of last year. At the time when I saw it, I thought, hmm, it looked really nice, so I put a deposit for that, 20 bucks. Um, come December-ish, I was waiting to see if it was going to be released anytime soon, and I was having second thoughts because I was looking at the stuff I was buying already, and it didn't really fit in with my collection, but I already put a down, uh, down payment for it, or deposit, sorry, $20 deposit, so I thought I might as well just wait it out and see what it looks like when it comes in, and here it is, finally, it's in my hands. It only took, uh, let's see, from August through May, what is that math whiz, nine months? Yeah, so it took nine months for this to finally come out from pre-order date. And I'm gonna do the unboxing. This is number, this is number 72 of 500. And this is what it box looks like. Here on the back is the artwork by Dean Eagle of Mandy. It says, award-winning animator Dean Eagle brought his curvaceous Mandy to life in, 20, in 2002. She has developed a devoted fan following over the years, eagerly waiting to see what situations the winsome cutie and her mischievous dog Scoots will find themselves in next. Um, I've never heard of Mandy before, but she looked cute, so I decided to pick it up, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Okay, so I've opened it up, and this is what's inside. We actually had a base as well that was attached to the front, so that's just the base, and that's just like the sand type of texture. It's a pretty solid base. On the back we see it says, Dean Eagle's Mandy and Scoot statue, 72 of 500, and it's signed by Claiborne Moore. So there's that, and I'm going to unveil, reveal, sorry, the Scoots part of it. This is Mandy's dog, and so far it looks alright. And there is Scoots. Not sure if you can see that too well, but... Um, yeah, looks pretty good. The paint job is really nice, actually. It's really, really detailed. There's different shadings of hair color on Scoots, and it looks really nice. And it's got, again, that's some nice weight to it. So there is Scoots. Put Scoots there. Paper and the drop up and put in the side door. Now we have Mandy, so it's all one piece. And this is what she looks like. So, with that out of the way. And there she is. Make sure she's in camera. It's a really light statue. And she does look she still looks really good from the first day I saw this statue on pre-order. The paint job is really, really nice. I love all the different skin tones on it. It's really nicely sculpted as well. Female body form. Hair is nice. Bow ties in her hair are nice. Her face is nice. Even her fingertips are really nice. I'm not sure if that comes across on camera, but the details are really nice on this piece. So, this is her. And she's got a peg here for the leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her in to the statue. Or sorry, the base. And there you go. There is the Mandy and Scoots statue. See that she's standing there in the sand. Scoots is running away from her. Do a spin around.
And like I said, it does look really nice. It's a nice piece to add to a collection. However, I think I'm focusing more on premium formats, the one quarter scales. And this one just might be a little bit too small. Notice that there's a Claiborne Moore signature down there. But I'll probably display this in my smaller display cabinet with some of my other stuff like my Harley Quinn and my Batwoman, or sorry, Batgirl statue. There it is. There's some more details there of Mandy. Do a spin around for you guys. And again, it's a really nice sculpt. Claiborne Moore did a really good job of it. And there you go. That is Mandy from Mandy and Scoots. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the Mandy and Scoots statue by Claiborne Moore. If you have any questions about this piece, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Like I said, it's a pretty risque statue. She's topless, but she's covered up. Um, it's not going to be something that everyone will like or will want to display in their home, but I've got it. It's a nice piece of artwork and I'm going to put it in my display cabinet with some of my other statues. Thank you for watching 604 Comics. Those are the unboxing videos that I've done this week. If you missed it, I unboxed the Ouya video game system before, and I have my pull list on May 15th. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for all your support and for all your comments, and I really appreciate it. And let me know if there's anything you want to see from me in the future in the comments. I'll still continue to put out my pull list videos and anything else I can think of that is cool, fun, and exciting. Take care, guys, and have a great day. Bye.